Hey everybody, David Duford here. Thanks for watching. In today's video, I'm specifically going to be talking about the uh, suggested workflow for final expense telesales. And this is really geared towards those agents that are typically used to selling face-to-face -face and are now amidst all that's going on with the coronavirus uh, crisis, uh, transitioning to a telesales environment. And what I want to detail here are just some kind of basic expectations that will change. Uh, as far as uh, how you'll work going forward. And just to make sure that you take account for these if you want to be as successful as possible selling over phone. Well, so let's jump into it. So the one thing that actually is staying the same is that activity is still king, all right? As it always has been in all sales across this fair land. The more people you talk to, the more people you sell, okay? This is definitely going to be the same uh, with final expense telesales. So a little bit different in how we employ this, obviously. Instead of driving around and uh, burning gas to find people at home, we're going to be burning the phone to find people at home, hopefully, to pick up the phone and talk about burial insurance. So what you got to do, of course, that means you got to dial like a madman. So uh, the best telesales people that I've talked to, engage with, they are very disciplined in how they plan their schedule. So they sit down at nine o'clock or eight o'clock if they're calling into another time zone and all they do is sit down and dial, dial and dial some more. And they take a little time off midday, but then they come back at it in the evening because that's always a good time to dial and they dial, dial and dial some more. So if you're coming into this from final expense face to face sales, understand that again, your results are going to be largely tied to the number of dials that you get per week. Now, the other thing that's going to be different is that telesales requires more leads, I believe, uh, for the average telesales agent than your typical face-to-face -face agent. So again, why is this the case? Because you have some factors against you when you sell over the phone. You don't have body language. You don't have a physical connection with these people. Uh, it's all done over the phone and not everybody's comfortable with that. Uh, so what that means is that you will experience less conversion. So what that means in order to make up for the uh, less conversion, you got to buy more leads. So if an agent works, say, I don't know, full time, 30 to 40 telemarketing leads a week, I would want to see at least 50% more, you know, 50 to 70 even, I think would be a good number. And what eventually starts to happen is not everybody picks up the first round uh, throughout the week that you do but you start to develop a, an inventory of leads that you'll have all the time that you can continually call and uh, speak to. So expect to carry more leads than what you're currently doing right now for face-to-face. -face. And that kind of brings up the next point. When it comes to telesales, sales, doing final expense, do avoid direct mail. So there's a couple of reasons why. I think the biggest reason with direct mail is because the acquisitions cost is so high. Uh, our average lead, depending on what kind you get, is going to range from $25 to $40, depending on the state you're dropping and what the details are in the lead. Uh, it's a very high cost. You just got to be very cautious of it. And a lot of those people don't pick up the phone up, and a lot of them are better utilized by just dropping in and getting in the door. Now, I'll be the first to say I'm probably somebody out there watching this who's killing it doing direct mail. I'm sure you can get results doing direct mail but the acquisition cost is the main concern because what you can do to a certain extent is get double if not triple in some states the number of telemarketing leads or facebook leads if you've got the right setup then you can with direct mail added you get the advantage of first of all people who tend to pick up the phone and answer a solicitation and turn it into a lead tend to be people who also answer the phone up and then speak to you over the phone and then if you do Facebook leads, you do have technology to lean on to help automate some of the processes. Uh, there are agents that use chatbots on Facebook. There are agents that use an email drip campaign or some sort of SMS texting campaign. Uh, all of these things can, you can leverage with a cheaper lead that you may not necessarily be able to get with direct mail and on top of that still call like crazy. So bottom line, when it comes to doing telesales, get up, chain yourself to the desk, and use your power dialer and dial your leads like nuts. Get a lot more leads than you think you normally would work if you're doing face-to-face -face. and make sure that you leverage your activity as best as you can uh, with some kind of non-direct mail leads. So that is the workflow to expect. Uh, this is going to be similar but yet different than your 
typical telesales or your typical face-to-face -face sales. And the key thing you have to remember too is that you've got to be disciplined about this. Again, there's a lot of sales of sales, right? There's just the different methods and there's going to be principles that are shared. But the, the way to make more sales here is to make more calls, okay? Uh, don't uh, shortchange your prospecting as in all sales. It is the cornerstone of your success. This is David Duford. If you'd like to learn more about how I'm helping agents across the country sell more final expense, including with telesales, you can go to daviddufour.com and click join Dave's agency to learn more. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for your time. Take care.